been paying attention to my videos, you know that I've been a mechanic for my whole life. And I got to tell you this story real quick. In 1978, uh, the year after I graduated from high school, I went out and I bought a 1949 D4C Pony Motor Start. And I found it in a junkyard with the engine laying out on the ground. And there was just something about that track type tractor. It was a high lift. There was something about that track type tractor that I just I couldn't get it out of my mind. So I bought the thing for, I don't know, peanuts. And I took the engine and I took it to a buddy of mine's house and we went all through it. And then I figured out how much Caterpillar parts cost. <laughs> and I bought the parts. I mowed grass and I bought the parts and I put the thing back together and figured out that uh, we could put it in there and get the thing running and, and get it hauled to my mom's house. So we did all that. That took quite a while, but we did all that and we got the thing to my mom's house and the pony motor was junk so I called my buddy with a dump truck every time I wanted to start it and he'd come over to my mom's house and we put a chain on it and he'd pull me down her driveway and I would get on it and I, it was an old hand clutch I'd get on it and I'd pop start the thing get it running and then he'd go on about his business well I finally got my first job of clearing a multiflora rose for the neighbor so I crawled over to the neighbor's house and I started clearing up this multiflora rose and the next thing you know I had the thing laying on its belly and the tracks were spinning and it was stuck. <laughs> so I called my buddy that owns a tow truck outfit and I said hey can you come and get me out. Of course I couldn't shut it off because you know we had to pull start the thing with a dump truck so if I shut it off I'm really in trouble so I left it run. I get back there and the thing was had sat there and it had vibrated itself into the ground so bad that the fan on the engine was starting to sling mud. That's how bad it was stuck. So just to tell you where I started from and now I'm going to show you I've had several high lifts in between but now I'm going to show you the high lift that I have now so that you all can kind of appreciate from 1978 until now uh, like seven high lifts later where I'm at. So I'm going to take you out here and I'm going to show you my other one. You know when you work on this stuff for a living sometimes it's kind of nice just to get on them and, and run them and, and do something with them and it breaks the monotony of having to work on it all the time. But I'm going to tell you the story about this one and then uh, we're going to take it down in the woods down here. I got a couple of thorny locust trees and we're going to take out them thorny locust trees and uh, she needs to be worked a little bit so we're going to work it. This tractor belonged to a contractor that I worked for in St. Louis, Missouri for quite a number of years and it was always my favorite. I don't. It, he had several 963's and a 973 but this tractor was always my favorite I don't know why but it was just always my favorite probably because it didn't give me a lot of grief it was just a good machine and I told him one day I said if you get ready to trade that in and, and get you a newer machine I would sure like to to buy this machine because I really don't want to see it go anywhere I'd like to keep it myself he worked me out a deal with it and I've had it ever since but it's really been a good machine and it still is a good machine and it's my favorite I just you sit on here and it's just like sitting in your living room reclining chair it's just a an awesome machine it's got awesome power and it's just all around it a really really good machine so it's a 963 LGP low ground pressure, it's got the wider shoes on, it's got sealed and lubricated rails on it. Uh, anyhow, she is one of my pride and joys and we're going to take her down there in the woods and put her to work. And I made a little bracket up on the handrail on the front there for that camera to mount to. I hope it's not too jiggly. Usually these things they don't ride too good so if you get a lot of little jiggle in there, 
you'll understand uh, where that's coming from. I'm going to show you what we're going to take down here today. This, you see, this is a great big old widow maker here. Hack, it's a uh, thorny locust. That one right next to it's a hackberry. It's coming out. The walnut will save. So we're taking the hackberry. We're taking the thorny locust. That's another thorny locust. And we're going to take that stump and all that brush, and we're going to push it out here into this clearing where we can get it burned up when it snows.